Remember, you could go from one microphone into the PC and then use something like Audacity to maximize the potential of that microphone or second hand set of mics, maybe second hand or on a sale in a, in a music shop, down to a mixer, into the PC, into Audacity and away to go. So if I was to do this, I'll just give you an example. This is a song on the bottom. I recorded it via the speakers on a microphone and this is me playing over the top of it. So again, this isn't this is the camera uh, microphone, so I'll do this again a little later to show you the sound difference. But just as an example. Now that's my own on the top. Because this part of the song doesn't actually have any drum click to it, so it's just on the snare, on the rim. And what's nice about this, oh yeah, I can mute out what I'm playing or I can mute out the song and listen to myself playing there. Just let it run a second, here we go. Again. And what's good about recording yourself now So the good thing about recording yourself over the top of a song like this, as I'm saying, you can do this with one microphone. If it's just for yourself to learn to tighten up as a drummer, you play the song in your earphones, you record yourself, you dump the song, you draw them together. That's a little difficult, pulling the wave bands together to line up correct. <coughs> and then you listen to yourself and see if there are things that you can improve. An example, is making sure that the sound waves look pretty proportional as you go along, unless obviously you're accenting and changing the mood of the music. But in general, they should be fairly consistent with the beat that you're doing. Um, you can listen to yourself, put it over the music, and then you can tell if your fills are nice, if your fills sound awful or whatever. It just helps you to tighten up, adjust. It's like a mirror. You have a little look at your own playing uh, and it's a very good way of doing things. So, no drums. Drums. No music. Are they the same? Should be a fairly consistent line. Little error there maybe. Maybe I didn't like that fill. there I did that fill it's not on the record and maybe you think mm, I don't like it or I might think oh that's looking wonderful I like as I said in, in other videos I like a, a snare that snaps and I actually prefer the snare on mine than, than on the record okay listen that's it and that's mine And that's the end of the song. So hopefully that that was acceptable for for you to get a basic understanding of something that I've been learning of getting your your drum kit to to come into a program like Audacity um, and in a way to go. There are some very good tutorials on Audacity as well. Okay, so with um, in relation to Audacity, as you can see here, I've um, been in touch with um, Andrew here, Andrew Mercer. I asked whether I could show his site B 
because what Andrew does is look is to give you lots of tutorials on using Audacity and I was using his site to learn and he sent an email back saying yep great he'd love to, to obviously see more traffic so it'd be worth going on his site so have a look look him up on YouTube and um, click on and see if, if you want to use such a program as this okay so that's another little tip hopefully that's useful to some of you out there